In this video, we're going to analyze a web application for security vulnerabilities using three different types of scan in Venari. Uh, the first way is we're going to use a dynamic scan, sometimes referred to DAST for Dynamic Application Security Testing. That'll be to scan the visual part of the running app. Uh, the second scan type will be for static source code analysis using an open source tool called SimGrep, which is instrumented into Venari. Um, we'll be looking at the GitHub repository code for that part of the scan. And then the third scan type will be an API scan, which is seeded from an open API definition of the same application, and we'll be scanning that running API that's exposed by the web application. The steps we're going to use to do the security analysis are first we're going to create an application and configure all three kinds of scan with their own template. Um, the second thing we're going to do is we're going to take the static analysis configuration and we're going to select specific rules that are appropriate to the type of code base that we're analyzing. The third thing we're going to do is we're going to start up all three scans and those will be simple button clicks. The scans will be queued so one will start running immediately and the other two will be put into a queue and then we're going to skip to the end and fast forward and review all of the findings and show kind of the aggregated view of the vulnerability insights that were found by all three scans. So we want to scan this application for security vulnerabilities and the first thing we need to do is set up an application container for it and give it a name. So I'm going to do that first. I'll call it Demo Application 2 so it doesn't conflict with the one we've already created. We need to put in a start URL for the dynamic scan. So I'm going to do that. So this scan is actually the one that does the HTML pages, does spidering, fuzzing, and inspection in addition to login. So this is your more traditional DAST scan that you're used to. This site has a login, so I'm going to put the credentials in for the auto login engine to use. The next step is to put the API information in. So the API has its own live endpoint. And we need to pick the open API definition that contains all of the Swagger information. So I've done that. I'm going to leave the rest of these as default. The next thing is we need to pick the GitHub uh, repository URL so we can pull the code down for the static scan. So I'm just going to paste that in. And that's all the information we have to click. So I'm going to put this there. And we don't want to run all these templates, so I'm going to clear them out and then just create the ones we want. So we want to do an authenticated or logged in DAST exploit. We want to do an API scan. We want to go ahead and save the uh, open API source material so we can review that manually and then we want to do a static source code analysis scan. So I'm going to put that information in and hit create and what happens is the open API specification for the API has been parsed and the spec says that there's API key authentication and able to uh, call certain operations to manipulate this API. So we're going to put in the credentials for those. that we click finish and you can see that we've got our templates and uh, we're ready to start our scan now. There's one more bit of configuration that we need to do for the source code scan so I'm going to go to that template and I'm going to select the rules tab and the rules are going to be loading and while they're loading I just want to explain what's kind of going on here uh, I know this is a Java web-based application, so when the rule categories come up, I'm going to kind of go through them and pick the ones that I think are appropriate for the source code repo that we have. Uh, generic is always good. Java, JavaScript, there may be JSON in the app. Uh, for good measure, we'll click TypeScript. And let's see, I think I forgot one. HTML, there we go. So that's a good rule set that we're going to scan with. So we're going to save that template and go back to here and in the next section we're going to queue all these scans up and watch them run. So the next step is to actually start the scans. So I'm going to queue them up in the order that they're showing here. Clicking the play button starts the scan. Rather than waiting for it, we're going to go back and we're going to do this for each scan. And the basic idea here is that we're in queuing them. And if I go back here um, I'm going to check the all jobs status and if we look right here earlier 
I did these same three scans on an application called Demo Application. The reason I called this one Demo Application 2 is because I want to be able to skip ahead and actually record the clip of the finished findings. Um, so right now what we can tell is there is a job that's in the running state, and that's the API scan for Demo App 2. When that one's finished, the um, authenticated exploit will go, and then the source code analysis will go last. So I guess right now what we can do is we can verify that at least the first one's running. So we go in here, and we can see uh, progress is ticking off here, 45 seconds. The scan doesn't take very long. It might finish in a few seconds. But uh, this one's running. You can see the activity in the queues. They're getting close to being done. And then the next scan will kick over when this one's complete. So we're going to pause right here. And then when everything's done, we're going to come back and look at the results. So the scan's about finished. And we're going to review the results. Starting at the home screen, we're going to pick Demo Application 2. And then browse to the Jobs tab. And we can see they're all in the completed state. And we've got findings counts and durations in these columns right here. So let's just look at them one at a time. For the API scan, if I click here, I can see we're in the findings tab. The findings are categorized. Uh, you can browse the same way you could with an individual DAS scan. You can choose a specific finding within any group. You can look at the details. In this case, we're going to look at traffic. And we can see the payload and the evidence of the finding. If we go back to jobs, we can do the same kind of thing for the authenticated exploit, which is your DAST scan. And we can find a number of vulnerabilities here. And let's look at the third one. This is the static analysis scan. And if we look at the summary, we found 219 things. If we look at the findings, we get a little bit better roll up. I've selected one here that looked a little bit interesting this JDBC SQL injection finding. If you go to an individual node here, you can kind of see how to drill in. Then you pick a single finding, look at the source code view, and you can see what it's showing you that the static analysis rule found. So the last thing worth looking at is if you go to the application level menu on the left and click findings, you get an aggregated view, which is all of the findings regardless of scan type. So there's 385 total interesting vulnerabilities or findings. And some of these are static, some of these are dynamic, some of these are API level things. If you look at the bottom, uh, you can see some of these are static analysis of the API definition itself. But uh, overall, pretty good haul of vulnerabilities. This is one application where we've analyzed the HTML pages by using a DAST scan. We've analyzed the API that's exposed by looking at a Swagger definition to discover the operation and endpoints to fuzz. And we've done a static source code analysis uh, of a known Java application, uh, selecting rules for JavaScript, TypeScript, HTML, Java, generic, all the relevant categories. And at the end of something like a 20, 25 minute period, all three scans completed. And we've got a good set of findings that we can look at. So that's how multiple scan types can contribute to your security knowledge of a single application. You can get a free trial of Binari Ultimate Edition or the DevOps Edition by going to our website at the URL shown below and clicking on the Demo or Free Trial button.